Hello everyone, welcome back to MTFL Add-on 6. In this video, we will be discussing probability uh, using um, regarding to union and intersection. You remember union and intersection concept is the concept we already covered uh, in the first chapter of the course, right? And uh, let's see, in this video, we're going uh, we to use those concepts to solve a probability problem. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so I'm gonna put over here the title here. I'm gonna put uh, uh, probability again okay, probability uh, uh, with union and intersection okay so this type of probability here we call that uh, we call a compound probability <laughs> so if you has a chance to take a intermediate algebra course when we talk about Compound inequality. Compound inequality is an inequality using intersection and union uh, um, to connect uh, inequality to each other. So compound probability just, uh, is a probability regarding to a union and intersection. Okay, probability. Okay. Now let's talk about. Uh, the union probability first. Uh, sometimes we call that uh, the all probability. Union probability. And uh, in this union probability, there are two different type of union probability. The first uh, type we call that um, uh, the probability would mutually exclusive event okay probability with uh, mutually exclusive event so uh, let me explain the word over here uh, mutually exclusive event it means that two events um they are exclusive from each other it means they they don't have anything in common uh between each uh between each other okay um on the second type uh we will have a uh, probability with non mutually exclusive so exclusive it mean that's not included inside each other that's that's what it that's what it mean now we're going to jump to the, the first uh, example uh, example then you can see uh, easily but the formula to find this type of probability as follow so the probability of the first event a uh, union uh, uh, event B this is equal to probability of A plus, plus probability of event B okay so this is uh, the formula and again event A and B event B here it has nothing in common between those two events okay <coughs> or sometimes the word all over here I can write is a probability of A union B. <laughs> okay. Now let's start with our first example. Let's see. Um, so I have the problem like this. Um, okay. I should delete this. Um, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, delete this. 
Okay. Alright. So I'm going to put this as the first example. Example number one. Okay, all right, answer. Now let's see how we're gonna do this with this problem. So we uh, we run a single six six side die. Okay, what is the proper play of getting either four or five? Now, so first of all, we need to recognize two event over here. The first is event is uh, getting four, and the second event is getting five. And these two event uh, they are. Uh, independent uh, of each other, right? They don't have anything in common because there's no way you're gonna get uh, you're gonna roll a dice and and uh, you will come up with uh, four and five at the same time. No, no way, right? Uh, so these two events here that are independent uh, of each other, so there's nothing in common. So that's why they call it exclusive, mutually exclusive. They 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 has nothing in common. So uh, we know, um, so the probability of getting four or five. So uh, for so for getting four is uh, event A and getting five is event B. So we can find this probability of four or five. Uh, will be what will be a probability of getting four will be one over six, right? Because of six phase. And you want to add it to the probability of the 5 will be 1 over 6 also. So the answer will be. So the answer over here will be 2 over 6. So it will be 1 third. Okay. So that's the probability. None of them is uh, related to each other. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can give you another example here. Um, how about um, mm, let's let, I try to create that um, another example. Let's say um. Mm, Let's say okay. So what if I have something like this? Symbol number two. Mm. Um. Uh, so I have um. I have a a bag. A bags contain. Um, uh, ten marble, ten marble with uh, with uh, different uh, color. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's say the first color is uh, uh, red marble, blue, uh, yellow, green, white, black, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so I need four more color. Uh, red, uh, yeah, purple, uh, uh, brown, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, purple, brown, gray, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need another another color, uh, orange. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I have a, a bag, and inside the bag, it contain uh, that 
10 different uh, colorful map or like that okay okay now the question is uh, what is what is probability probability of getting uh, blue or orange marble okay okay so you know that the blue and orange marble it cannot be mixed up uh, we don't have any marble that has blue and orange at the same time so they are um, exclusive event okay so we can solve this easily so the probability of blue or orange will be probability of getting the blue marble plus probability of getting the orange marble so you have uh, only one blue so one over ten and you have another one over um one over ten okay right hmm. okay so um so this give you uh two over two over ten which is one over five there you go see that all right now the second type of probability union probability is the one with the mutually non mutually exclusive okay uh, probability with uh, with mutually inclusive events, or you can say that non uh, mutually exclusive event or you can say uh, mutually inclusive events the same thing so it means that in these two events they have something in common uh, for example I have this uh, let's say uh, what if I have um, this one here all right so i have problem like that and i have a picture let's see where's my picture okay okay so let's see how we do this So we have uh, 52 uh, car and as you see, uh, so in the figure, uh, so 52 of them, okay. Um, I, I don't, so this picture over here didn't show everything. Uh, I don't, I don't have the picture of that one. Uh, actually, I don't know if I have it or not. I think I, I delete that already. Uh, yeah, some way, somehow I deleted. So it's not over here anymore. Uh, okay. So we know, we know the, the card deck. If you watch the, the, the previous lecture video, you know that's what is the, the 52 color block. I uh, suppose that this card are uh, shuffle and you random select one card from the deck. And what is the probability? It's like a diamond. Or the picture okay all right now for the mutually inclusive event okay uh, you have to use the uh, different uh, formula so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull this down a little bit here uh, I need to provide you the formula first. 
Okay. 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 So the formula, it kind of look like that. So we have uh, two probability A union B. It's also the probability of A plus probability of B, but because uh, two events over here, they have some, uh, they have part in common. So you have to subtract the probability of A uh, and B. Okay, A and B. So this is the formula we use to calculate. Okay. All right, then now in the first example, we will do this one. Okay. All right, let's see how we do this. And let's see two events they have something in common. So what is the probability of silicon diamond or a picture car? Now, if you notice, uh, the picture car, Jack King and Queen, you see Jack King and Queen, it could have diamond shape inside. So two events, diamond, diamond have Jack, uh, diamond and, and, and Jack King and Queen, the picture car, they, they share something in common. They both, uh, they, 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 they they are the same car right jack jack king and queen they have the di uh, they have diamond also so they say something in common so the first thing we got to do is we got to calculate the probability of uh, getting uh, um, a diamond for us right so in this case we have probability of a union b with probability of getting a diamond so how many diamond we have so we have totally uh, um, so we have 13 car for each shape. So we have 13 over 52. So I mean we have 13 diamond in the car deck. Right? right? Then how many uh, Jack King and Queen? There are, uh, uh, there are four different sh shapes, right? So we have uh, uh, diamond, we have uh, uh, heart, we have uh, uh, club. All right. Then we have uh, speed. So uh, they have four of them, and each of them has jack, uh, jack king, queen. So totally, we have a uh, third. Uh, we have uh, uh, thirteen. Also, oh no, we have only twelve. I'm sorry, miscounted. So we have only twelve uh, jack king and queen for four different shape over here. Oh, 52. Okay, so this is the probability of getting a picture car. Then you have to subtract the probability of having a diamond and picture car at the same time. We will just just 3 over uh, 52. And now you see that you can uh, calculate them. We just give you uh, 25, uh, 25 minus 3 is 22 over 52. Uh, which is 11 over 16, which is, uh, you see that, less than 1. Now, okay. Okay. Uh, so this is like mutually inclusive. They say they include uh, in each other. Now, let's how about, uh, how about this, this one? Example number 2. Mm, what if I have this? Uh, yeah. Let's see. What if I had one, two? Okay. How about this one right here? Okay. Let's see. This is uh, inclusive or not? So we have a group of 50 students, uh, 23 of them like math, uh, 22, uh, two, uh, 11 of them take psychology, and 7 do math and psychology. See that they have 7 doing both math and psychology. So this is, uh, uh, this is the in, uh, inclusive right here. So the probability is going to be uh, very easy. Uh, so the probability of a student a uh, student uh, taking 
uh, math or sci will be probability of student taking math, which is uh, 23 over 52, uh, plus probability of uh, taking the psychology, so 11 over 50, just 50, not 52. Then you subtract uh, 7 of them over 50. So you're going to end up with uh, which one? So we have uh, 23 um, plus 11 is uh, 34. 34. Uh, seven, uh, 27 over 50. Okay. So. If you go ahead and put it into the calculator, then you calculate. Uh, you can calculate the percentage. Okay. Example number four, three. Okay. Mm, what if I have this uh, here? Okay. So it's using the figure, so I need to uh, load the figure also. Uh, let's the figure here. So, uh, use the figure to find the probability. Uh, uh, on the punter, we stop on an odd number, on a number less than five. Now, we gotta check if it is uh, inclusive or not. So, an odd number and a number less than five. A number less than five, it has odd. Because the odd is one and three. So, they do have something in common. So in order to do this, very easy. So probability of two event odd or number less than five it will be probability of the odd first. So how many odd over here? You have one, two, three, four. A four over eight plus probability a number less than five. So one, two, three, four. Four over eight also. Less than five, we have uh, six, seven, eight, or oh, six, seven, eight. There's only three of them. Three over eight. And we subtract. Uh, we subtract the number, the number that odd and less than five, so it's just only one and three, so it will be two over eight. So you're gonna end up with seven, so we uh, five over eight. That's the probability. Uh, did I calculate wrong over here? How many odd number we have here? One. Three, five, seven, so four over eight. A number less than five is one, two, three, four. So oh, this is four. Uh, this is wrong right here. So there's a four of them. Uh, so it will be ten. So this will be ten over here. So ten over eight will be five over four. Oh, this is sick. I'm sorry. Uh, I feel sleepy now. Maybe that's the reason. Uh, uh, six over eight should be three over four. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see if we can uh, do another one. Mm, example. This is example. Number four. Okay. So we need to load the table also. Data. Uh, right here. Okay. Okay. Example number four. Uh, so. so uh, if one person is randomly selected from the population represented in the table, find the probability 
the person is Mary or female. Mary or female. So Mary and female, you see that it says something. They could be Mary and female at the same time. So I can do a easily probability of Mary or female because female could be in uh, could be Mary. Uh, Mary could be female, so they have something in common. So probability of Mary first. We have uh, 137 over 264. Yeah. And uh, over here we have this uh, plus a female. Uh, Mary female is 69. Oh no. Mary, Mary is 137. No female, a female is not 69. Uh, female. Female, female is 136 over 264. But they could be married and female at the same time. Married VS would be minus 69 over 264. Okay, so over here, we'll go ahead and put into the calculator. So we have 137. Uh, patient with me, okay. And 37, but 136 minus 69. Give you 204 over 264. You gotta simplify that. Uh, 264. Uh, around 17 over 22. I have to use calculator, it's check faster. Uh, B. A person is divorced and widow, divorced and weed or widow, divorced or widow. So we see that there's none of none of the female or male who's divorced or widow and widow at the same time. So there's nothing in common. So over here, you just uh, this is a exclusive event. Uh, Divorce or widow. So there's two separate ones. So you have uh, divorce, you have 26 over 264. <sighs> and, um, and widow, widow, widow is 14. Over 264. So you're gonna have 40 over 264. Right? Divide 264. Uh, so you simplify this, just give you 5 over 33. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So that is the the um, union probability. Okay. Now we're gonna jump into the second type. We call that um, intersection probability. Okay. So I'm gonna put the second Roman here. Uh, intersection. Uh, for the intersection probability, we also have two different types. Uh, the first type we call that uh, uh, independent event. Okay, so we have probability with independent. Event so there's nothing, it's not, uh, it's not, um, depend on each other. So you know the intersection in the um, end. So we have 
uh, the formula that is the probability of A and B. We can write probability of A intersect B. So it will be probability of A times probability of B. Okay. All right. So now let's start with our example. So none of them. This is an independent event. So independent. Um, uh, the independent event it means the probability. Um, uh, the occurrence. Uh, that's what I mean. The occurrence of the first event has no effect on the probability of the other. Okay, let me repeat it. Independent event is mean that the occurrence of either of them, the first event or the second, has no effect on the probability of each other. Has no effect on the probability of each other. Okay. Uh, for example, I have something like this. Uh, let's say uh, I do. Uh, how about this one right here? Okay, so I have a problem like this. Let's use a different color here. Okay, so uh, we have a uh, roulette and we have 38 uh, slot. We have total uh, 30 compartment, 18 the black, 18 the red, 2 are green. Okay, uh, it can be like equal to property of any one of our. Uh, 38 number uh, five the property occurs on two consecutive play uh, five the property of uh, let's say of the black okay occurring on two consecutive play okay so if uh, in the first play uh, you have uh, black and you see the it's not gonna affect the second performance for the second for the second play right uh we got the second play could be black also uh, so it's not affecting each other so in order to do this so you're gonna calculate the probability of, of black okay and a black yeah, so this is give you the probability of the black and the probability of the black. So the probability of the black is we have 18 black over 38 times 18 <coughs> over 38. Okay, because this, this, you see that it's not gonna affect it because this, uh, even though you got the first black, okay. You still have under the second event for the second performance, you still have 38 slot, so it's not gonna affect anything, okay? It's not gonna affect anything. You, st you still have 18 black in, in the roulette. This, this, you're not gonna, you, you did not lose any uh, compartment, any black compartment after the first performance, right? So uh, that's why we call that uh, independent. <coughs> So from here, um, you're gonna end up with um, nine over nineteen times nine over nineteen. Then you're gonna have eighty-one over three hundred sixty-one. Okay. Example two. Okay. How about this one? <coughs> mm. By the probability of having four boys in the row. Okay. Probability of five, having four boys in the row. So, uh, Either you have boy or girl, so the first row, second, three, and four. So the probability of getting the boy 
is a half, right? The probability of a four boy, first boy, uh, four boy. Oh, I cannot close this. Uh, four boy. So the probability four boys in the row. Uh, so for the first boy, for the first one, you have only fifty percent because you either have boy or girl, and the second one. Uh, Okay, 1 over 2 again, that one is 1 over 2, so 1 over 2, so you're going to have uh, 1 over 16, okay, uh, they is not, they are independent from each other, because even though the first one is girl, the second one is not going to affect by the first one, if the first one is boy, the second one it could be boy also, so it's not going to affect it uh, in terms of probability, so that is independent okay example number three <coughs> mm, if i have this mm. okay and so This one is kind of you need to think a little bit over here. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to find a probability? Uh, the South Florida was hit by a hurricane in four consecutive year. So we know that the probability for one year is. So uh, for any single year hit by hurricane is five over nineteen. Then uh, from here we can find a probability for four consecutive year. Uh, so the first year it could be five over nineteen, and you see that the second on the second year is not affected by the first one right so the, the the weather on the second year is not depending on the weather of the first year so that's what the probability is not dependent on the first year so on the first year you still have this <coughs> and on the fifth one you still have this and this then you're gonna end up with 25 times 25 is 625 and 19 raised to the 4 uh, with 130321 okay uh, so if you do the division it kind of small there's only 0. 0.0004 Seven nine, so it's about point four percent. It's not a lot. Okay, B. Uh, what is the property that will not hit by the hurricane in the next four years? So we know we know that this is hit by hurricane in four years. So the property is not hit by hurricane in four years. Will be P prime will be one minus P. So it will be 1 minus 1, 0, 0, 4, 7, 9. So you're going to end up with the probability is uh, 0. 0.99, 5, uh, 2. Okay. Oh, let me see. I think something wrong. What is the property of the It's not hit by a hurricane. So we know it's not hit by her. So we need to do hit by, not hit by in the next four years. Uh, 
this what is the probability this sound not hit by hurricane in the next four years so we gotta do one minus the probability in the next four probability of getting hit in the next four years uh, Mm. So first of all, we need to find. Oh, I think something wrong. Uh, think we need to think a little bit over here. Um, so the probability is not hit in the next four year. So we need to find a probability not hit in one year first. Okay, uh, so the probability for a single year is this. So the probability for hurricane not hitting in one year will be 1 minus 519. Yeah, so over here you're gonna end up with. What's wrong with this? Oh. So you're gonna end up with um, 14 over 19. Okay. Then the probability not hit in the next four year. Uh, this is uh, not hit, not hit it in one year. So probability of not hit in the next four year will be p. Four year will be fourteen over nineteen times fourteen over nineteen times fourteen over nineteen times fourteen over nineteen. Then you're gonna end up with like fourteen over nineteen uh, raised to the four power. We'll hand calculate it for yourself. Okay. And for part C, well, what is the probability that how hit by hurricane at least one in the next four years? At least one in the next four years. Uh, so we have a probability hit, not hit in the next four years. That now we need uh, at least one. So part C, uh, at, least, at least one in the next four years. Hmm. For four year, uh, this is a probability of not hit in the next four year. At least one not hit. So this is one minus. Uh, One minus of fourteen over nineteen raised to the four. Uh huh. So that's what it is. Because this one, we want to find the probability of the hurricane at least hit it in the next four years. But we had a probability of not hit it, not hit it by hurricane in the next four years already. Then at least you to just do one minus. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, now, so that's the first time. Now, we need to do the probability with dependent event. So dependent event, I mean the first, uh, uh, the, the performance, uh, the occurrence of the first event, we are affecting uh, the probability uh, of the second event. Okay. Two. Proper. Ability of uh, dependent event. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's do some of it. Let's open up. We're gonna jump into the example right away. 
Mm. Have something like this. I find a problem with appealing two king, first king and the second king. So this is n, and you see uh, two king, the first king, the second king. There's nothing. Uh, they uh, is that they depend on each other too. We gotta check, right? Um, let's see. Answer. So the probability of getting the king and getting two king. Okay. The probability of the getting the first king. So how many king we have? Uh, we have four king. How uh, fifty two? Okay. Then the second king, n. So we have uh, three out of fifty one. All right. Then the answer over here will be one over two hundred and twenty one. Okay. So it depends. You see that uh, the second uh, the second uh, event is, is affected. Uh, affected by the first event because we are you, you already got the first king already then the second king is there's only three king left right so they depend on each other and you see the first king gone so that's why we have only 51 cards left okay so number two uh how about this one Mm. Uh, so. so we have one person at the time. Okay. So <laughs> three person are random selected, one person at a time from five fresh fresh men. Five fresh. Men to show for and for junior. Find a probably the first two people selected a freshman, and the third one is uh, so we need three people. So the probability in this case will be uh, first two people sitting a freshman uh, so will be the first two person so it will be two it will be one one out of five two out of five yeah That, is that correct? Hmm. See, it should be two, two out of five. Two out of five is is better. Uh, so we have five freshmen. Something not right over here. So total we have uh, five. So total we have. Uh, we need to know the sample space. So that total eleven. So the first one will be five eleven. The first five and the second one will be fourteen. Yeah. Right, because there's only ten students because you will pick the first first one over. And the third one is junior, so junior there are four. So four over the four over nine. Yeah. Yeah. So over here you're gonna have with um eighty over um 
I know, 90 times 11. Put into the calculator, 990. Uh, the uh, 80 divided by that. Uh, so about simplify so 8 over 99. Okay. Yeah. You need to calculate the sample space. I forgot. That's why I get stuck over here. All right. Example number three. Okay. Find the probability of getting three heart and so uh so probability this guy three heart so how many heart we have over here we have 13 heart over 52 then the second heart will be 12 over 51 and 11 over 50 okay then if you go ahead and put it into the calculator you will see we end up with 11 okay put it into the calculator guy uh 850 okay so you go ahead it's about 0 0.00129 there you go so it's about 1.29 percent this is uh 1.29 percent it's not a lot right it's not a lot uh, and believe me, they uh, all the uh, all the all the good uh, gamble gambler they 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 use probability over here to to win. Uh, like you see in the first video where we talk about they introduce the probability and talk about uh, Arnold Rothstein. He's uh, he used some way somehow he can apply the probability concept. Or maybe he used intuition, but uh, uh, or, or his intuition is also based on the probability concept too, and it helped you help him a lot uh, with the victories, where he win a lot of benefit, a lot of um, uh, money from uh, gambling. Okay. Now in uh, in in the next video, we'll be talking about another type of probability when we uh, have a restriction. Uh, we call it conditional uh, conditional probability, but I think in this video, I think that's good enough already. I'm gonna stop over here uh, again. If you have any question or you spot any mistake, please let me know. Okay, but I'm sure I think 99.9% is correct. I'm not gonna go for perfection, but uh, of course, sometimes I have a uh, error, human error, but uh, I'm sure that over here is 95%. Now, at 99.9% is correct already okay but if you can spot anything in her careless mistake just let me know okay i'll be seeing you next time